Hey guys, it is 5 p.m. Today was kind of an off day for me. It's raining outside today and I just really wanted to just sit down and relax today. I feel like I've been putting so much pressure on myself to be just go, 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 like do something every single day, don't waste a single minute. And I've just been super on the go and I feel completely fine, like I'm not like sick or anything. I just can feel my body being very tired and just overwhelmed. Sorry, this is nice crunchy. みなさんこんにちは。えっと、今もう大事に過ごさなきゃっていう それのブッキングとかでいろいろ計画とか予定が変わってきてるからそれに合わせていろいろブッキングしてたんですけど I had some McDonald's earlier and I did some laundry I've just been booking my next trip like to Osaka for next month and I did some laundry I've just been booking my next trip like to Osaka for next week and things have been changing so I'm trying to like accommodate to that and it's just been a lot but I really needed this time to just sit down and kind of focus on the planning and stuff like that and I don't feel like I wasted any time because I was really actually busy doing the laundry and booking the stuff because I kept having a search if things were close enough to where I had to go and the train stuff and whatnot and I'm extending my stay here in Kyoto I'm gonna stay here for like four extra days I think because I really like it here and I didn't realize how close Kyoto was to Osaka so yeah, I just kind of want to stay here and explore a little bit more and that's kind of my plan. But anyways, I'm not going to spend the whole day doing this though because I am kind of finishing up. So I think I'm going to go out and have a quick little dinner later on and then I'm going to go to a bar, which is kind of scary because I don't really do that kind of thing by myself and nightlife kind of scares me in general but even more if I'm alone but it's like this cool neon looking bar and they had really good reviews about how the staff are really nice so I think I'm gonna try and go and I'm kind of nervous but I thought we could do something fun together to finish off the day. だから今日はそれに行ってみようと思いますあとちょっと軽くご飯も後で食べようかなと so yeah, I think I might leave here around 7.30 or something. I think I'm gonna try and edit a vlog right now so that I can have another video ready to go. And that's basically all I have to say. There's nothing else really going on. ちょっと編集したりブログをもう一個終わらせるとかいうことをしたいと思うので So yeah, I will see you guys a little bit later when something is happening It's 9 p.m. and I'm ready and I edited a vlog. I didn't finish it, but I did get some work done. Yeah, I've just been kind of chilling, so I'm gonna get ready to leave. And I feel super weird to be leaving at 9 p.m., but I'm trying something a little bit different today. で、出かけたいと思います。で、なんかこの時間に出かけるのも私らしくないので、ちょっとなんか変な感じするんだけど、ちょっと今日は違うことをしてみようと思うので、ちょっとお腹空いてから何か食べてから行ってもいいかなと
by myself um, on this solo trip like in Tokyo I did a few things like by myself but out here where I'm not coming back to like my siblings and stuff I haven't really done that so I'm a little bit nervous but let's go together ちょっと緊張してるんだけどなんかこの一人旅この新幹線の一人旅で夜出かけるっていうのはしてないのでねなんか帰ってきた時に誰もいないのもなんか変な感じするしま一人だからちょっと怖いんだけどまあでも大
feel lonely or anything. But today when I went to that bar, like it kind of seemed like everyone knew each other. I think a lot of them were regulars. It just made me feel like I really wanted friends and people to talk to and I wish I was like out, you know, bar hopping or something with someone or with a group of friends and stuff and it was a very weird feeling. I don't know. I guess that was like the first time that I really actually felt lonely and I don't really like want to even admit it because I feel like I'm becoming more independent but part of being independent is also embracing that sometimes things can get lonely and as human beings we need social interaction and connections and stuff and I was talking to the owner at the bar and stuff so I did have a few people that I was speaking with but you know I'm probably never gonna see them again and we didn't like become friends or anything and so yeah I guess I kind of just wanted that comfort of like having a friend group and being able to explore the city with themで、ま、このナイトライフを初めてこう一人で経験するっていうことをしたんですけど、本当に今日は初めてすごく寂しいなっていう気持ちになりました。いつもはね、この外に昼の間とか一日の間でこう神社に行ったり、お寺に行った
ていうのもあると思うから、まあ、それでいろいろ感じてるんだと思うんだけど、そう、いや、I mean, I'm obviously not sure when I'm gonna be back in Kyoto again, and I don't work here, and I don't go to school here or anything, so I don't really have that many opportunities to talk to people and make friends or something like that. I don't know, I'm not like sad or anything, I just honestly kind of like learning about myself because I didn't really. Think, like in Canada, I never think about like, oh, I really want friends right now, or like, I really wish I had a group of friends. Like, I never that thought never comes to mind. But right now, being in a place where I don't have anyone, it's making me realize how much I do depend on others and how much I do need that, and I can't take that for granted. に入ってたらいいなとかそういうことは全く考えたりそんなこと全然思わないんだけどでも私が本当にどれだけ人に頼ってるのかとかこうどれだけ人間関係を大事にしなきゃいけないかとかいうことをなんか勉強して学んでるっていう感じが今しますだからいくら一人が好きって言ってもやっぱり話し相手がいるといないのではやっぱりそれは違うしでまあ私は特に家族とすごくクロースだから、まあ、何度も喋るしいつも一緒にいる時はもうずっと一緒に喋ってるからそれにすごく慣れてる自分の部分があると思うので And I think another thing is that I'm really close with my family and so that's a big reason why I feel like I'm so used to like sharing about my day and anything that happened and just kind of always speaking with someone and you know I'm really close with them I always am just talking with them and so I think that's just like really important to my well being. And so, yeah, anyways, that's basically how I'm feeling right now. I'm totally fine. <laughs> I have my plans for tomorrow, which I'm really excited about, and I'm not feeling any different about this trip or anything.、Um, I'm just kind of sharing my thoughts with you guys because this was like my first night out. Yeah, this was my experience. I'm not really sure if I would go again. そこまでになるんですけど、今日は本当に初めてのこう一人でのナイトアウトみたいなナイトライフの感じのことをしたけど、まあ、またこれがあるかって言ったらまあそれはわからないんだけど、でも挑戦してみたし、まあこういうことをしたら自分はどう感じるかっていうのも分かったから、でも全然この一人旅に対してのこう気持ちとかも変わってないし。So thank you guys so much for watching today. I'm sorry. I feel like this vlog was not very interesting today because I was basically just telling you about how I'm feeling and what I did today. But I think this was a very real side of the solo travel. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys.、Um, make sure you subscribe to this channel and like the video if you enjoyed it. I'm talking kind of quiet because it is one in the morning. And even though this is like a private room, I just feel like I should be quiet. So、um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. すごくいろいろした一日とかではなかったけど、まあ、でも一人旅のちょっとこうリアルなところも見せようかなと思ってあのいろいろ喋ったりしたけど明日は楽しい一日になると思うので登録もよろしくお願いします。So I will see you guys very soon. I hope you're all doing super well. またね。バイ。